Hey there, welcome back to the shop worldwide. My name is Michael. Today we are going to take the NC Miata here and uh, some sway bar end links, uh, some adjustable ones. Uh, put on the a box sway bars that are on there now, but they have the stock end links. So we're gonna have these adjustable ones to make sure that we don't have any preload on that sway bar. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in, probably stop and get an energy drink or so because I'm kind of tired, and then uh, we'll get on over to work and get the car on the lift. All right, now that we got her up in the air, you can see the rear sway bar back here. Uh, got the stock end links on that um, Ibach sway bar. So we're going to um, go ahead and remove those first. Same with the front. And then after that we can get into getting the new ones on. Alright, so I went around and checked and they are all 14 millimeter. So we just need to take off the one off the sway bar and the one off the uh, lower control arm there. And then we'll have the rear one loose. Alright, so I was going around uh, just going ahead and breaking them all loose to get started. Um, it looks like three of the nuts kind of want to hold on a bit. So instead of forcing them, I'm going to go ahead and soak them down. Uh, so I'm going to let that sit, get the other end links off, go ahead and try again. And then if um, that doesn't work, then I'll grab a, an Allen key. And if you can see in there, get a wrench and an Allen key. It'll hold the stud still so that nut won't just pull it with it. But we're going to soak it down first while we pull the other ones off. Just to make sure we don't strip anything or break any bolts. And um, then we'll get back into it. All right, since I do have one out already, I'll kind of demonstrate how I'm going to get the other two out. Uh, as you see, the hex head here, which is a HW5, fits into that end link. And we're going to use our 14 millimeter wrench to turn it while we hold this still so that stud doesn't spin. Okay, as you see here, I do have all four end links off now, despite... This one right here being a bit difficult and me saying I'm done playing with you and grab some channel locks and an impact. So that's how we got that one off. Um, wouldn't start there. I would just, you know, end there if necessary. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that will work as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get everything cleaned up with some old super clean. And then I'll uh, wipe everything down, get it kind of cleaned up before the new ones come in. Alright, so there are the new adjustable sway bars next to a rear one. So I did adjust those right about where that rear one was already. So they're about the same length as it is. I did the same with the fronts. As you see, that is a front end link. I got those measured out to the length of those. So we're going to start there. Go ahead and get uh, one side in on each front and rear. And then we'll kind of adjust and lower the car from there. You see we got the new ones on, uh, they, these are not tight, these are still fairly loose but they are on, uh, the nuts are on both sides here on the driver front, and as you see on the driver, or I'm sorry, the passenger front, I left the one that goes to the um, chassis here loose, so it's not on at all. So we want to make sure that there's no uh, tension in that bar so it should just slide in after we lower the vehicle so we'll go to the rear and take a look at that as well as you see driver's side is in and put together uh, these are adjustable also the sway bar the front is not the rear is we had it on the uh, long setting there which makes it slightly softer so while I'm under here I do want to kind of try out the stiffer setting so far in is going to be stiffer just like anything using leverage a longer arm makes it easier to move so you want less leverage to make that a little bit harder to move um, and this side you see we got this one undone as well so we're gonna put some stuff under the uh, tires that way the vehicle will still be up off the ground I can kind of fit under it still uh, this would be a nice time to have some ramps or something but I don't have any with me so 
we're just gonna chuck the wheels up and lower it down on that and then uh, slide in the end links on the uh, passenger side of it here. All right, now that we have the weight down on the wheels here, um, I just adjusted these. So you want them just being able to slightly move uh, just a little bit. Um, I haven't tightened them. They're just slightly adjusted by turning the middle shaft. And then you'll eventually lock them in place with these lock nuts. But we're not going to do that just yet. Because we just still want this loose. Maybe not that loose. Right about there. So that way when we tighten up your nuts on the end, it'll be snug where it's not just flopping around. But there won't be any load on it. And that's what we want. So we're going to get over here to the side that it's not in. And we're going to get that in place. All right, now you see I do have it hooked through and I have the nut on it. Um, it's still not super tight, but it is kind of snug. Uh, just so you can kind of see, when you adjust these, you can kind of see it moving. You might not be able to if my hands are moving, but it's pretty obvious from my point of view. They're just twisting this back and forth. I actually moves that sway bar. So you don't want that. You don't want it to be loaded up. So you want to find that spot in the middle right about there where it's kinda easy to twist that means it doesn't have much load on it just ease those up a little bit cause we're not done quite yet but that'll just kinda keep it from moving too much and we'll move on to the front alright so I do have those on have them set about where they need to be I am gonna go ahead and raise the vehicle back up so I can kinda tighten everything up and make sure there's still no play or too much tension in it um, then I'm gonna lower it back down how it is now just to make sure that nothing changed too much and once again there's no you know torsion on that bar that shouldn't be there all right I did get all the mounting points uh, snugged up and torqued to the specified torque which is 36 to 40 foot-pounds um, I did use an unnecessarily large torque wrench because it's the only one I have uh, probably should get a smaller one but those are torqued now um, we still have our nuts loose there for our, the end links we're going to double check those whenever we come down to make sure there's still not a bunch of uh, weight on those end links because like I said we don't want any uh, preload on those so we're gonna lower the car one more time, hopefully, and um, check those. And if those are all good to go, then we will tighten them. Uh, the nuts for the uh, top part up here are gonna be 17 millimeter, and uh, the large nuts here are 17 millimeter. The small one, that middle piece, are gonna be 14. Uh, it is a little tight to get that 14 in there. Um, I'll probably tighten one side by holding the other side and then snug the other side down. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and lower the vehicle and get these tight and uh, make sure we don't have any preload on them. We got the end links where they need to be, uh, tighten them down that top nut and bottom lock nut. Um, everything is torque to spec, so uh, now all that we need to do is take it for a little drive. So, um, unfortunately, the GoPro is dead uh, thanks to me kind of halfway plugging it in to just decided to not charge which I don't blame it because uh, I should have plugged it all the way in but um so no driving footage this time I may do a whole reaction to uh, the sway bar end length plus tires plus wheels it'll kind of be hard to figure out which one helps better if one helped at all or if it's just tires or wider wheels or the end links are just absolutely amazing and switching to the other hole on the rear just tighten everything up and it's golden so there's no way to really know that's why it is best to change one thing at a time but um i can give my feedback from being at pike's peak and driving there which will be in a video that I posted yesterday or I guess posted this morning so same hat same shirt 
So, um, yeah, I posted that this morning. So this one will be uh, posted later this afternoon, hopefully, maybe tomorrow. Um, I do change clothes. I do bathe sometimes. Um, check that one out if you want to see kind of how the tires and wheels do. And then this will be an additional for the end links and just moving that sway bar, I guess. But for this video, we are going to be done. So if you have any questions about the install, I mean, I know I used a lift. I get it. Um, I've only had access to a lift recently in my life, and I'm 36. So I completely get it. It's a little bit easier on the lift, obviously. Can it be done on the ground? Absolutely. I mean, me and Corey have pulled engines and done clutches and pretty much everything you can on a gravel driveway. So I don't see why you couldn't do in links on the ground. I mean, adjusting them and stuff, I was laying on my back just like anybody else would. But, I mean, of course it makes it easier. And I am very thankful that I got to use the lift today. So, um, uh, like and subscribe, like I said. Check out the other content. Check out the uh, video of Pikes Peak. Compare it to the open lap session of the STI driving at Pikes Peak. A little bit different course. Well, same course, but different way the laps were set up, I guess. Um, kind of backwards and shorter, so... Um, yeah, that's it. Have a great day. See you next time.